Alright guys, today we're going to be taking a look at what I have on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Alright, so on my first page, it's just really default apps from Apple like FaceTime, Calendar, Photos, Camera, Mail, Clock, Maps, Weather, Reminders, Notes, Stocks, News, Books, App Store, Podcast, Apple TV, Health, Home, Wallet, Settings, Activity, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and then my doc is just the default doc, which is phone, Safari, messages, and music. So I mainly use this row of apps here, which is my app, my main app. So I mainly use Activity, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter on a daily basis, as those are the most important apps, as well as the apps in my doc. But I really use messages and music the most. And I also do use camera to take some pictures and everything else you would expect to do. Alright, on my second page, we have really just the default Apple apps in the first two rows. So, we have Files, Find My Shortcuts, iTunes Store, Tips, Contacts, and Watch. And then in the Utilities folder, there's just really every other Apple app that comes installed on your iPhone when you first get it that you just can delete or just not get rid of at all. I personally have just left them there as there's no reason to get rid of them, for me at least. So, we have Voice Memos, Compass. Measure, Calculator, Apple Store, Apple Support, Clips, Nike Run Club, Remote, Research, and now I'm going to go on into a little more depth about the Research app. So the Research app is just an app that allows Apple to basically like collect studies which you can opt into about certain things like hearing health which would use your AirPods to measure how loud your music is and is how it can potentially damage your ears over time. So we also have the health and movement study which is to help them understand how they can improve the Apple Watch health sensors and then the woman study which is just to help them understand the menstrual cycles and other female part and other female stuff. Um, so then we have test flight which is what you use to beta test apps. So I'm currently beta testing Snapchat um, which isn't any different than the current Snapchat that's on the App Store now that anyone can download. But in the past, I've also down, uh, beta tested some games, which I've helped develop, per se, and just get out everything that needed to be taken care of. Um, then we have Tunnel Bear, which is a great VPN app that I use during school. Just the one downfall, in my opinion, is that it has a data cap. So you can only use it for a certain amount. So I can currently only use 7.5 gigs per month. But now, as I only would use it in school, as my phone doesn't always work in school due to the Wi-Fi restrictions. But it's great to have something that I can kind of get around it. It's just, I mean, and there are many others out there. It's just I found Tunnel Bear to be the easiest to use as it was just the fastest and worked best for me. Alright, then we have my important apps, which is just all the important apps on your phone. So we have Arlo, Attain, Chase, Dropbox, Facebook, Google Photos, JBL Connect, Venmo, and My Verizon. So Arlo is just a smart home security system with um, Attain is another app that helps me track my workouts and just make sure I'm earning my goals. Um, Chase is a banking app. Dropbox allows me to share files with people. Facebook is Facebook. Um, Google Photos is a great way to store photos without accounting towards your iCloud quota as they take up a lot of storage. But Google Photos, if you put it to the, the free option, you can store as many photos as you want without it counting towards your um, quota of storage. And then we have JBL Connect, which is for my speaker, which allows me to pair it to other speakers and just control everything about it. Venmo allows me to transfer money to people. My Verizon is just for keeping uh, um, tabs on the whole phone plan and everything. And then United, which is great for viewing flights coming in and going out if I need to, or booking a flight or having my boarding pass when I go to the gym, uh, when I go somewhere. And then we have the gym app, which is really just, I help manage like the social aspect of my gym. So I have all the apps on there. Um, so we have the Google app, um, which allows me to control all the emails, and if something goes wrong, I can see what it is. We have My Business, which controls the listing page on Google. Then we have the Wi-Fi app, and then we have the apps that allow me to log in, which are What If I, What If I Athlete, and What If I Core. And then we have Yelp Business, which controls the business uh, side of it. And then we have My Stream Folder, which has everything that allows me to just stream video onto my computer, or just onto like anything that... It will accept stream. Then we have all my school apps. 
which I use most of them. I don't use all of them, though. I mean, I also haven't used most of them recently due to this whole outbreak. But, yeah, that's them. Then we have games. I barely play games on my phone, as there's just... I don't see the whole purpose of it. So we just have really, like, Mario Kart, Mario World, and Mario Run on my phone, which just really have been old games I just haven't deleted. And also Paper Run, which is some game I've had on my phone for so long I just haven't deleted it. Then we have my favorite tab, which is the food, t uh, food tab, which has really all my food apps in it that are, either have rewards cards or I have store cards for, which just allow me to eat or quickly like scan in or place a mobile order if necessary. And then we have Wawa Whole Foods there too. Then shopping just allows me to go and get something I need quickly just by going to the app. Um, Arrive allows me to track all of them and get notifications. And then we have the home app, which is just helps me control stuff in my house. Then we have TikTok, great for social media videoing. Then we have SoundCloud, which is to listen to two friends, their big beauty booty mix. It's just my one of my favorite mixes uh, ever. Then we have the Apple Developer app, which just allows me to keep on top of all the Apple related news going on about like WWDC and all their new softwares and everything coming out. And then we have YouTube Studio, which helps me manage my YouTube channel. And that is it for really what I have on my iPhone. I don't have a lot of apps. As I don't spend a lot of time on it. I usually use my computer or it'll just be like a click gl gl glance at my Apple Watch, which is great that they all work so seamlessly together. And that's really it for this video. All right. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.